Two eights. Did you get your first pair? I had a pair. Oh, nice. Oh. I called it. Verbal bets are binding. He calls with the two eights. It's, it's, it's a very good call. Oh, condescending. It's a very good call, he says. He made a call. Don't worry, just, just put everything in and just hope it doesn't come. That's all. That's all. That's, what you, that's how you play. It's okay. He would be a wonderful okay. tournament it's director. Nothing wrong with that, man. It's nothing wrong. I respect you. Uh, oh, he's got the American where he wants them, though. Tens over eights. Here's the flop ace, nine six. I got a, I got a flush draw. You don't want another club. Tony out in front. I could be the best player in the world. Even if I lose this, I could still be the best. You can't. He just <laughs> loves himself at this point. You can't blame him. Open He's up. He's on a roll. Here comes the turn card. The turn card. I'm not afraid. And a six comes off. I'm never off. afraid. Give me an eight. So what that means is Jim Overman must catch an eight. Otherwise, eight. Tony G is going to double up you. here. I don't mind. Here Whatever comes it comes, the river. It comes. Well, it's a five. It's a five. It's not an eight yet. No. I'm going to take everything you have. I'm next. Everything. Huh? And it's going to be like five minutes. Oh, man. I'm going to destroy you. <laughs> well, he needs to work a little bit on his grace after winning pots, I think. But, uh, you that's guys are style. taking things too personal. This is just a poker game. We're just having a friendly poker game. That's all we're having. Well, he's Listen, right about have that. Have you paid everything? Have you paid I agree properly? with him there. Well, a couple of people berating him in the audience. This is, man, I'm going to... And I'll tell you something. He's a great trash talker. It is really... In the rules, Everything. it's part of poker. And you want five minutes, That's his biggest strength in his poker game. He does it Man, gonna, to I'm perfection. So will these guys crack under this verbal abuse of Tony? Will it finally get to them? He's making me crack. Just How long can they keep their composure? This is this is a barrage. Stay tuned. We'll be right back on the World Poker Tour from Paris. The Aviation Club is located on the Champs-Élysées and is in the heart of Paris. Certainly the nicest poker club all over the world. For sure it's the best food uh, in the world, I mean, without a doubt. And we have private rooms, uh, library, television room, bar, and open. This year we double up the field, got 205 players, which is wonderful. Paris is one of the nicest places in the world, so it's very fun to go come and play in the middle of it. I love it, yeah. I love playing the aviation. I just love the place. I keep winning it. Simple as that. You have to come and see it yourself. You really do. Welcome back to the World Poker Tour. We are down to three in Paris. Now Tony G vaulting into second place by winning that last pot. Surrender Sunar from London, still our chip leader though. Send Jim Overman, the American, in third place. Surrender, get it blind. The ante is the blinds have gone up as a three thousand dollar ante with a fifteen and thirty Five. blind. Here we go. It's going to be on the American, Jim Overman. Waiting for the aces. Tosses Jack Deuce Neither. this time. Put it in. Around to surrender. Uh, surrender looks down at eight Deuce of Spade. Nothing. Should have got a bigger cap. Now, Surrender's the kind of guy that takes yoga, really tries to improve his concentration, and he's going to need it against this guy on his left. Very distracting. Well, you can't let all that chit-chat bother you. Certainly, Surrender's been around the poker world a long, long time. He's heard it all. He's seen it all. So I can't imagine anything that Tony G says is going to affect him. Cool. And he calls. Surrender he's going to take a shot here. Can I take a peek? Tony's going to look down at his hand now. Yes, you can, Tony. Yes, uh, he looks at a 6-3. And he says, check. It's a bad hand. Announcing he has a bad hand, and he's telling the truth here. Here comes the flop. Well, the flop is 7-4-3. Uh, Tony's got a piece of that. He's got the threes and an inside straight draw. Yes, he does. Surrender has nothing, of course. But it's going to be on surrender first to make a decision. Well, surrender checks. Let's see what Tony does with this. Well, Tony says, okay, give us a card. He's going to play it sneaky. No surprise he checked right there. Ace of spades on the turn. Notice Tony looks over at Surrender and not the four street card. He just wants to get some kind of indication if the card helped him. So he looks at Surrender rather than the card on the board. Well, Surrender bets on four street and without hesitation, Tony G calls him with bottom pair. Beats him in the pot. Well, Surrender has to catch an eight. I hope to have the best good. hand as the cards lie. The five comes up, he'll have a five high straight, but Tony will make a seven high straight. 
So it's going to be interesting to see how this pot develops. Here's the river. See the river card? And it's a three. This gives Tony three threes at the river. But Tony doesn't even look at the board. He is just staring at his opponent, Surrender. Now, the problem for Surrender is, for him to win this pot, he must bet at it. He cannot check and possibly win this yeah. pot. Go all in, baby. There's 133,000 on the table. Now look at this. Tony is talking yeah. it up, saying go Very all flash. in. Now, usually yeah. strong means Sorry. weak, and weak means strong, but he has reversed it here, trying to I'm induce this bet. Will Surrender fall for this? How much are you charging, Surrender? Ooh, he says, how much are you charging me? Just trying to aim him on to bet this hand. And will Surrender go for it? Remember, if Surrender checks, he's virtually just telling his opponent, take it. You take this pot. I don't even want it. How much, man? Put the clock on now, Tony's saying put the clock on him. That's right, that's, that's what I want. Well, I'm a little amazed at that. Guys, put Every aspect the of psychological warfare going out here at this final table by Tony G. Call. For the surrenders bet this 200 grand. Tony's quickly called this. Bye-bye. <laughs> I'm going to rip you apart so hard. All your chips. Everything. Everything. Well... <laughs> Everything. He's the devil. Well, I made you bluff. I mean, so this could put you in the rubber room, this kind of move. You so hard, and you're going to suffer so much. Oh, man, you will never want to play poker again with me, ever. Well, I got to tell you, folks, Whatever he, bets, he takes call. no prisoners when bet. it comes to verbal yeah, abuse. He did it to Peter Roach, this is what he did it to the American, and now he's doing it to surrender. Now, I'm the captain. <laughs> I am the captain, and this guy has just doubled me up. This guy is just going to double me up. Now, we don't think that Tony G is going too far, but we're not sitting Tony at the G table G playing G with him. This is, so on this a high, it's with someone have. who can give us their take on what they think I'm of the Australian champion. airbag. I'm going to be the best player in the world. I'm here with great European poker champion Marcel Lusk. And th there is definitely a line. Do you think that Tony G has crossed it? Well, he's, uh, he's crossing the line in a way of his behavior is getting worse. And he wins a pot, he goes out of the line a little bit. I think they should stop him a little bit. Let him have fun, but let him behave. Does he deserve a penalty? No, he deserves a warning, a serious warning. And a cup of coffee, black coffee. <laughs> Thank you. Well, the verbal venom continues from Tony G here. This time his wrath aimed at Surrender Sunar. He doesn't realize that man is a karate black belt. <laughs> Maybe not the guy you should be abusing here at the table. Uh, he's got Jack Deuce this time. Uh, surrender folds. Uh, Tony G looks down at Queen Six offsuit. How deep are you, buddy? A little more than last night. Trying to see how many chips Jim Woman has left. It's about 275,000. 300? Yep. Important lesson in no limit hold'em. Know how much your opponent has. Well, mathematically, I've got the best hand now. I mean, like if I was playing, I would put everything in. Well, look at this. This time? Have you, have you looked at your hands? No. Could be aces. Could be. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to raise. Well, Tony's going to raise it. He comes in for 90,000. Might be the worst time because Jim all has in. a pair of eights. He's gone all in. Yeah. in and he goes all in. He quickly goes all in. For about 275,000 here. A great play by Jim Overman right here, in my opinion. How much is he charging me for to knock him out? And now Tony G faced with a decision here. Now what he's looking at is the size of the pot, and do the pot odds justify him making this call in this situation? Is that all it is? That's all it is. Let's go. Show. There's 372,000 in the pot. Cost him 183,000 to call. He's getting a little bit over two to one on his money. And if he gets lucky, he, he can knock Jim Overman out of this tournament. Well, the pair of eights did not work out a few hands back for Jim. This time he could double up. They could turn it around. Will it be his hand tonight? I call. He is going to call it. So mathematically, he's getting the right price to call here. Now remember the first hand of three-handed play. Jim Overman had two eights. Tony G had two tens. Tony G won that pot and doubled up here. Now Jim has the two eights and they're the favorite.
Can he be lucky and have the two eights win for him, or will the two eights be his nightmare at this final table? Here we go. Nine of diamond, three of diamond. Flock comes up nine, three, seven. So far, so good for the American. The only man with a true job at the table still alive here. Right now, Tony G is going to have to have a lot of help here. Turn card coming up. He got the six of diamonds. Oh, that gives him a flush draw. draw. Queen six. Gives him more outs. I don't like your hand anymore, Jimmy. We will see in a minute. So we can win the pot with a diamond, a queen, or a six. The shop foreman. His poker destiny on the line here. Last Mason, card to come. Diamonds. Here it is. Yeah! Oh, it's a queen. Tony G is out drawing the American. Poor Jim Roller, baby. I didn't mean anything at all. I didn't mean anything. Oh, really? It's it just a game. It's just, I swear to God, it was just a game for me. It's all right. Tony over here apologizing for the evening. A little late for that. The shop foreman got a little unlucky right there, but he is going to pick up 203,000 euros, which is about 253,000 U.S. He's only been playing poker two years. He qualified online for 100 bucks, yet he's taken home over a quarter of a million dollars. What a week he's had here in Paris. <laughs> we are going to watch a great heads-up battle between the Melbourne Melt and Surrender Suda coming from Paris. Stay tuned. We'll be right back on the World Poker Tour. Well, as is the custom on the World Poker Tour, when we get down to heads-up play, we break out the money. Voila! over a million euros you know it looks a little like monopoly money from here but it's the real thing well there we see isabel mercier she's the international public relations consultant here for the aviation club the champagne the cash the title bragging rights it's all on the line right here right now who's going to capture this world poker tour title okay let's dance i hope i have we are in a virtual dead heat right now in terms of chip count Surrender then first to speak. Oh, it is a fascinating battle now between these two. So much on the line here. The pressure is intense. Good luck. I hope the first one's a lucky card. <laughs> the second one's tough to hit. Once you hit the first one, the second one's really tough. Runner looks down at queen nine here. Oh, no. It's, it's tough enough to play your own hand, but you got to hear this rambling at all times, too. I haven't looked, so you don't have to worry. On surrender, he's taking his usual time. Surrender. Well, he limps in. He just put calls. Put in the middle, and then I'm going to see what to do. This is a joke. Tony belittling his you're attacking opponent. Us. I feel like you're attacking me. <laughs> you are attacking. I can see your eyes as well. Yeah, Tony trying to get in his eyes. face. You got to get back a glass. You talk about the poker bully. I'm gonna look, I'm going to find the big hand. And That's if I don't him. find the big hand, I'm going to check, and I'm going to beat you. It's even worse. So you hope I find the big hand. That's what you're hoping for now. And this guy's relentless. He just should, never stops the chatter. He's brilliant. He looks down at his hand, finds 8-4 of diamonds. Okay, I've got a bad hand. I can't get over an ace. I've got both cards under an ace. But even even so, I want to check. Well, he says check, so we're going to have a flop here. It's queen nine the for surrender, see eight four of diamonds for Tony. Here comes the flop. It's a six of spades. Two flop. flop is nine six deuce. A nice flop for this surrender. He's flop top the pair here. Yes, he has beautiful flop. But look at Tony. He has not looked at the board. Hasn't looked at the flop. He's just looking at surrender. I checked blind. I just looked in your eyes, man. Now notice he checked. He hasn't even seen what's out there in the flop yet. Just staring surrender down. How would you like this guy looking at you like that? It's not a pretty sight. Make me very nervous. 36. And surrender bets 36,000 with top pair. 36,000. Tony G has really nothing. Just eight high. You better half the pot on me. Notice what he said there. You're only betting half the pot on me. He's suspecting that that small bet might be a sign of weakness here. Does that mean he's going to raise it, Vince? No, he 
he's staring at surrender. 